said, you know, we made it all out here on a beautiful Tuesday out at the Mockingbird. We got Jimmy back there serving up Tecate and tacos. He's the best motherfucking bartender I've ever had because when I ordered a taco, this nigga actually brought it to my table. So I respect that shit. Nobody's working harder than him tonight. I want to fucking say what's up to my boy Christian and his lovely lady in the triad over here. I feel like International House Hunters going on Tinder date going on tonight. Y'all look good as fuck. It's like, yo, if I wanted to go on a fucking a Tinder date, I want to look like them too. Because they came from the restaurant next door and was like, well, what the fuck else is going on tonight? It was like, jolly old black guy, what's going on tonight? And then uh, it was beautiful. Then they brought the triad member. It was fucking amazing. I'm sorry, brother. I don't know your name. I never got it. The lady, she was real secretive. She was like, I'm just his friend. Don't, don't worry about who I am. But yeah, I digress. I just want to say, you know, shout out to everybody that made it here. We're all doing something positive with ourselves, it looks like. Supporting each other. Shout out to my friends and family that made it out and everybody else in between. I just want to take a little time to, uh, you know, wish all the potentially impacted people and all the people impacted by the storms. Um, I wish them safety, comfort, and, uh, you know, full and speedy recovery. So shout out to all the Hurricane Irene. I fucked you up with that one, Hurricane Irene. Hurricane Irma. Fucking Katina. And uh, the last one, Jose. I know I fucked up Katina. I'm about as qualified as talking about foreign relations and natural disasters as our president. That yeah, motherfucker. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet, but there's like this commercial where there's like the five former presidents that are still alive doing a little commercial trying to raise money for the hurricane survivors. And I was like, shout out to the fucking PR director and those five presidents for Vito and Donald Trump's bitch ass from being on there. Cause uh, you know, he, he ain't got no good public speaking skills. But yeah, that shit, this shit made me laugh. It was like, yo, Jimmy Carter up there with them, lift, them lips is fucking wet as fuck. It was like, and he ain't had nobody to put makeup or get a napkin for his ass. But I digress. You know, shout out to FEMA, Red Cross. I know everybody be hating on them niggas, but I worked with them bitches, so they cool with me. Shout out to Saving Our Project for helping a nigga like me get to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, uh, shout out to Rockwell. I fucking love them. Hurricane Sandy, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, big ups to that shit and all that bullshit. Cause like when it comes down to Donald Trump, it's like we couldn't really let this nigga talk about the natural disasters because he'd be fucking up the hurricanes like I just did. I mean, when we was bombing Syria, this nigga started to give up plans about Afghanistan on accident. You just can't trust that motherfucker. He's like a waiter on his first day at work, trying to give you the special today. He's like, I think we're having lentils, maybe broccoli and cheddar. I don't know. Either way, um. It's a lot of sex talk tonight, so I'll, I'll stick with that topic. I had, to, I had to give up masturbating recently. Don't feel so bad. I'm just talking about masturbating in the bathroom, because uh, that's where I rehearse my comedy. I'm trying to take that shit more serious. You know, I don't like to mix business with pleasure, so. I'm looking for a new location. Scouting locations currently, public places, private places, it doesn't matter. I actually uh, got the chance to meet a beautiful Latina lady. Anybody Latin in the crowd besides the one I know? <laughs> oh yeah, the Panamanian and the Haitians. Yeah. South Pasi and everybody made me way. Thank you, but, yeah. Wepa. Wepa, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, oh, <laughs> Telemundo. I like that voice. I, I gotta use that accent more. But yeah, um, I love Latin women. They're no, fucking amazing, like, especially Dominicans and Puerto Ricans in the mix of the two. It's like, all they want to do is kiss and dance. Like, like, who the fuck can have a problem with that shit? It's like, between kissing and dancing and sex in public places, it's like, yo, I fucking don't know if I can go anywhere. But it's like, you know, they get this shit at a really early age, because it's like, I was having sex with this one young lady, she's really awesome. And we were in the bathroom, it was pretty awesome. But we were finished, and I thought we were finished, but I was like, you know, when you're in the shower, it's like, four play, but five play and six play at the same time. But yeah, it's like, next thing I know, we open the shower curtain, there's a little kid just fucking looking at two naked ass grown-ups in the shower. And it's like, see, look, Poppy, this is how you do it, Poppy. This is what we do, Poppy. But shout out to uh, Lil Elias, his cool ass. But yeah, man, I just be talking to myself sometimes, and I just want to say thank you, you know what I'm saying? Because I got tired of talking to myself in public. Without a microphone, so you know, shout out to Christian and the whole triad and everybody else and like, Todd Monsey, give it up for that motherfucker. Cause um I can't wait to yelp about this place. Anybody yelped about this place yet? Like, dude, I swear, if you're a broke ass comedian like me, all you need is ten dollars. Like you wanna fucking have at least one way to get here. You can get at least two tacos. 
and maybe a beard. Depending on your ratio and your responsibilities and priorities, you might actually change it up because you might need to take a shit later and if you don't have toilet paper, you might want to take off one of those tacos. Mm -hmm. so that's bad math and bad jokes. <laughs> Fuck y'all, cause y'all have last and suck my dick. Shout out to SUG Tunes. That's my cartoons. Anybody watch cartoons in the crowd? Woo, Richard James is the only adult who's irresponsible. Congratulations to all you folks, but fuck you, because I need you to watch my cartoons. SUG Tunes, we're trying to go international. We actually have an animation festival coming up, so fuck with us. I got a little bit of time left, so I'm going to ask one more really awkward question. Do it. Does anybody in the crowd still eat pussy? Fuck you! Woo! I like this joke. This is like my new favorite joke. But yeah, I've been doing this shit for like 15 years. I don't know if anybody's having the same problems as me, but like, you know, you do it, you like, you're enjoying it. Like, anybody enjoy like the sounds of the thighs clapping against you? All the time. See my man, like, he's like, mm. he's like, oh, yeah, let me get my ear stuck. Let me get my ear stuck. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love the way, you know, you get that smile after she came and she's just like, oh, one more, Poppy, and you're just sitting there just like, nah, bitch, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, I don't know about you guys, but like, the pain from the little hymen thing underneath your tongue, does that ever go away, lesbians out in the back? <laughs> Y'all deal with that every day? Because that shit's been fucking with me since, like, Sunday, and I'm trying to get over it, like... Just brush his even every day, you'll be fine. Oh! <laughs> that, was, that was the best heckle I ever had, but it was completely all fucking screwed. I will brush my teeth next time because this microphone smells like shit. Thank you all. My name is Darren Smith. And uh, watch out for SUG Tunes. Sick fat type. I love you, Todd. You're the best.